Welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host, Dr. Lokendra Kumar, and today we will understand parasitic diseases in humans, including malaria, trypanosomiasis, cystosomiasis, toxoplasmosis, and leishmaniasis. We'll discover how these diseases they are transmitted and their impact on human health. So, without any delay, let's start the video. All right, let's start with malaria. Malaria, a significant parasitic infection caused by Plasmodium parasite, it's one of the most significant parasitic disease worldwide. And let's understand how the malaria is transmitted to humans. Malaria is transmitted to humans through the bite of infected female mosquito. And the mosquito is Anopheles mosquito. Once inside the body, the parasite multiply. So you need to understand when the parasite is inside the body, parasite will multiply within the liver, liver cell first, before they enter into the RBCs. So first the liver is affected, after that the RBCs they are going to get affected. And that will lead to the symptoms like fever, chills, anemia and all these symptoms they are the complications of the parasite multiplying inside the human cells including liver, including RBCs. When RBCs are getting affected then only you will see the symptoms like fever, chills and anemia coming up. So these three important symptoms they are associated with the destruction of RBCs. All right, now let's move on to the second one, which is trypanosomiasis. Trypanosomiasis is also known as sleeping sickness. So you can understand the disease is associated with our sleep cycle. It is caused by parasite, which is trypanosoma parasite transmitted by CC fly. These CC fly, they are responsible for the transmission of this parasite. And if we talk about the forms of particular disease, this particular disease, there are two important forms. First one is Trypanosoma brucei gambiensis, which is found in Western Central Africa. And the second one, which is Trypanosoma brucei rhodiensis, which is found in East Africa. Symptoms, they include fever, headache, joint pain, and these are the early stage symptoms. So if we talk about early stage symptoms, they will include, for example, let's say fever, there will be pain in the hand, headaches, and then joint pain is also one of the important features. Further, this will lead to more ne neurological symptoms which includes sleep disturbances and also confusion. So that is why this is also known as sleeping sickness. And later, if the disease goes without treatment, sleeping sickness can be fatal. So this is very, very important. This is very, very essential. We need to understand that this can lead to the death of the patient. So I hope now you understand what is trypanosoma, what is trypanosomiasis and what are the different forms of trypanosomiasis. Now let's move on to the third one, which is cystosomiasis, also known as bilharzia. It is caused by parasitic worms of the genus called cystosoma. The parasites, they are transmitted to humans. Now let's understand how the transmission occurs. The parasites, they are transmitted to humans through contact with the contaminated fresh water, such as river and lakes. So river and lakes are the sources for this particular parasite. Especially when you have infected snails that are present inside the water, they will release the larvae into the water. And when the larvae will penetrate inside the skin, the larvae will mature into adult worms, which can reside inside the blood vessels surrounding the intestine and the bladder. So this is very, very important to understand that the target organ in this case is intestine or bladder, which can lead to further chronic infection and then for more severe complications like liver damage, kidney failure or bladder cancer. Even bladder cancer can happen in this case. So that is why it is considered as one of the important parasitic disease and many people are getting affected with this particular disease. So I hope now you have a better understanding of cystosomiasis. All right, now let's move on to the toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is associated with cats, okay? That you need to understand. Toxoplasmosis is caused by Toxoplasma condi parasite. This is the name of the parasite, which can infect humans through the consumption of undercooked meat. So it can affect the person by the consumption of undercooked meat containing the cyst or the contact with the contaminated cat feces. The second problem is with the cat feces because cat feces can contain these particular cysts of this parasite. While most healthy individuals, they experience mild and asymptomatic infections. So in this case, what will happen the most healthy people, most of the people who are healthy, they will not have severe complications. They will have mild or unsymptomatic infection. But it can cause severe complications in immunocompromised individuals and also in pregnant women 
leading to birth defects or even miscarriage. Toxoplasma is prevalent worldwide. So that we need to understand. And also with an estimated one third of the global population getting affected with this particular disease. So whether you talk about developed countries, whether you talked about underdeveloped countries, where this particular host is present, where this particular parasite is present, there is a chance that the person is going to get affected. So now you can understand when it comes to uh, pregnancy, so it becomes a very, very complicated scenario because it can cause birth defects, it can cause even miscarriage. So I hope now you have a better understanding of toxoplasmosis. Now let's move on to the next one, which is leishmaniasis. Leishmaniasis, as the name indicates, it's caused by protozoa leishmania. So this is a protozoan parasite which belongs to the genus leishmania. It is transmitted through the bite of infected sand flies. In this case, sand flies are the one which are the, are the vector for this particular disease. The disease manifests in various forms. This particular disease has various, various forms, including cutaneous, mucocutaneous and visceral leishmaniasis. So it has three different forms categorized based on the symptoms. First one is cutaneous leishmaniasis, which presents as a skin ulcer. The second one, which is visceral leishmaniasis, is also known as Kalazar. You need to remember that name, Kalazar, is always associated with leishmaniasis. This affect Kalazar, when Kalazar word is coming up, we can relate it with the internal organs are getting damaged. And that is also fatal if it is untreated similar to trypanosomiasis. So leishmaniasis is very, very critical, very, very important disease. Leishmaniasis in endemic is endemic in parts of Africa, Asia, and also in America, affecting millions and millions of people annually. All right, so this concludes our overview of the major parasitic infections. You need to understand these are only few parasitic infections that we have discussed. There are so many important parasitic infections I've just picked few of them. We will elaborate the pathophysiology of these uh, infections in more detail, life cycle of these infections in more detail. For that, you have to subscribe to Basic Science Series and you have to get in touch with all the videos that we post. So if you find this information helpful, then please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, support us. Your support is going to enable us to continue creating more educational content and spread awareness about some of the important global scientific issues. Thank you so much for your support. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, take care.